After the strong performance in 2022, the Malaysian economy will be expanding at a more moderate pace in 2023 amid a slower global growth. Malaysia's growth this year will be mainly driven by firm domestic demand. At this point, our assessment is that the risks to, growth, the, to the growth outlook are fairly balanced. Downside risks are largely from external developments, while upside risks are mainly from domestic factors. We are facing a highly challenging and uncertain global landscape. We are projecting that the world economy may grow between 2.4% and 2.9%. Several factors will support global growth. This include resilient labour markets, which will support household spending in major economies, the full reopening of China's economy, and the continued easing of supply chain disruptions. The strength in demand from China and ASEAN are expected to support intra-regional trade. Nevertheless, headwinds from elevated inflation and tight monetary policy are expected to weigh on consumption and investment activities. The global economy faces further headwinds from higher financial market volatility and uncertainty amid the recent stress in the banking sector in some advanced economies. Just like any other small and open economy, the slowdown in global demand will affect Malaysia's exports, especially manufactured goods. However, Malaysia's diversified export structure across products and markets will cushion this impact. Stronger recovery in tourist arrivals and travel receipts will provide some tailwind to export of services with spillovers to domestic activities and jobs. Our economic growth in 2023 will be mainly driven by firm domestic demand. On the demand side, household spending will be an important driver. It is projected to expand at a moderate pace of 6.1%. This will be underpinned by continued income growth with support from government policy measures such as higher minimum wage for small firms, expansion of overtime pay eligibility and direct cash assistance. A critical driver to consumption activity is sustained improvements in labour market conditions. This will be supported by continued expansion in consumer and tourism-related sectors and policy measures such as hiring incentives and upskilling initiatives. Given these drivers, we project the unemployment rate to average at about 3.5% for 2023 as a whole. The unemployment rate is expected to drop steadily over the year to the pre-pandemic average rate of 3.3% by year end. At 3.3%, the economy would technically be at full employment. The COVID-19 pandemic required more comprehensive and nuanced assessments of labour market conditions. Hence, the bank has enhanced our analytical toolkit by looking at what we call alternative slack rates and statistical thresholds across various labour indicators to assess the evolving degree of labour market slack or tightness. This analysis is further complemented by insights from the business community. Assessment using these enhanced approaches suggests that wages are expected to recover, and inflationary wage pressures would remain contained in 2023.